Hello and welcome to another episode of Blue's Tech How To's. Today is a little bonus episode. We're going to be jumping away from Mix It Up just very briefly, and we're going to just show you how to connect a new streaming software to OBS using a virtual camera to add a 3D element. Did you guess the software? It's Polypop Live. I'm super stoked about this program. We covered it a couple weeks ago in Tech Tuesday, and I think that this is going to be an exciting program to keep an eye on heading forward. Now, Polypop is still in beta, so there's got a lot of things that they're still working on, but it can be a lot of fun in adding a 3D element to your streams. And using a virtual camera, you can actually get it connected to OBS to do fun things like this. You get those blueberries in 3D space, you get shadows, all of that within your OBS. So I'm going to show you how to do that nice and quick. So let's go do it. So this is Polypop Live. So when you get, go to their website, you got a nice little download button right up here in the upper right. Get the program downloaded and installed. Super easy, just a couple steps. Um, but you can go through their website here. They do have a forum, a Discord, as well as a bit of a wiki to help you out as well if you have any issues. But Polypop Live, as I mentioned, it's another streaming software. So down the road, it could completely replace OBS Studio, Streamlabs Desktop. You could switch now if you wanted. Um, and the nice thing about it is it adds that 3D element. So that is the biggest feature with this software currently, but it's definitely one to keep an eye on for sure. So, <clears throat> so once you get Polypop Live installed, it's gonna open up the software that looks like this. Now, we will go into this in later videos on how to get this set up. Um, we might just wrap up our series on Mix It Up app first. However, at the time of posting this, this is just a little bonus video for you guys because we missed our stream this week. So uh, this is just to show you how to get Polypop connected to OBS. This would also work through Streamlabs desktop um, using it as a virtual camera. So um, when you get Polypop installed, you're going to be given one scene, which you're going to see here in the upper right hand corner. Your scene layout is right beside it. You want to use this plus button right here to add things to your scene. And you can start playing around with all the 3D elements and everything that it gives you. So you've got 2D, 3D and 3D objects, um, things that you can add to your software that you can actually then use the virtual camera to get them to show up within OBS Studio or Streamlabs desktop. So that's when you get those things added to the screen. The other thing that you're going to want to do is down in the bottom right hand corner, you're going to see a color box. When we click on this here, it's going to open up a menu. It's right behind my camera at the moment. So let me just uh, zoom back out and we're going to hide this real quick. Oh, boom. As you can see here now in, the, in this corner, you have the colors. So these colors here, you're going to want to make sure all of them are set to zero. I found a black background works the best. You could theoretically make it any color, but the big thing you're looking for is this A, the alpha, to be set to zero. This will allow that transparency that you require in OBS, which I will show you how to set up right now. So we just have an image on our background just to kind of show you how to set this up so that it's transparent. What first will happen when you load in the Polypop virtual camera is it will be a solid background. So there's just a couple steps to make that transparent. So you're going to want to come down here to sources and from the source list, you're going to hit a video capture device. Now the video capture device that you're going to want to add is the Polypop virtual camera. So that's what we're going to name it. Um, but you can call this whatever you would like. And so then once you hit OK, it's going to pull up this box here. And that is just my green screen camera. Um, but we're going to switch it off of this to our Polypop camera. Now, the first thing you're going to notice is that it appears to be a solid background. We are now covering that logo. Um, so what you're going to want to do is change a couple of the settings here. Um, so the two that you're going to be, or I guess it's three that you're going to be looking for is you're going to want to change the resolution to custom away from device default. You're going to want to change the resolution to the option that it gives you. So in this case, we have 1280 by 720. And then the last thing you're going to want to change is the video format. Change it from any to ARGB. Once you do that and you hit OK, you can see here now when we zoom out that the logo is no longer covered. But if you look in the source list, Polypop is still above the image. So next thing I'm going to do is click on this again and hit Control F. 
that's going to fit that to the screen. So it's going to cover the entirety of the screen. Now, because we've played around in Polypop, if I throw exclamation point blueberry into my chat, which is what I've linked to the blueberries, you're going to see here two different layers of the blueberries because we've got the front layer, which is actually on this OBS. And then we've got the lower layer, which appears on the back. So we're going to play that one more time for you, but I'm going to turn it off on the recording OBS so that you're just going to see it still here now on uh, the one that I'm showing you. So if we do that one more time, there you go. See, it still works, but now it's bound to the box within the OBS on screen. So nice and simple. We've got that all set up here within OBS. Um, and what that's done is it allows us to give a little bit of a 3D element to our streams from OBS Studio. So with just a few simple little steps, you can get Polypop Live functionality using that 3D element into a software like OBS Studio and Streamlabs Desktop using the virtual camera function. So I'm excited to see what you guys can do with this. We have a few things added to our stream and I'm looking forward to seeing what everybody thinks about it. But I want to hear your thoughts as well. Let me know what you put into use. One thing to keep in mind is, again, not everything will render properly within OBS or Streamlabs Desktop, as these are elements used within a 3D space. So just play around, see what works, see what you might need to wait on. Um, but the other thing to, that is nice with this kind of method too, is that all of your hotkeys and things that you set up within Polypop Live will work with it minimized. And having it minimized actually reduces the CPU and GPU usage as well. So don't go too crazy because it's another program to have running while you're streaming. But if your computer can handle it, it can be a fun thing to add to streams. So again, let me know down in the comments below what you guys thought of this video. Let me know what you are going to be implementing. And I look forward to seeing you guys next time. Take care.